Welcome to the CNS Podcast featuring Dr. Daryl Anaba, Research Director for CNS Productions. I think one of the uh, continued challenge to treating and effectively dealing with uh, chemical dependency in our society uh, is the fact that there is a huge awareness gap. Uh, we used to call it denial. I think in research they call it an awareness gap. When they use a DSM-4 criteria or diagnostic criteria and screen a lot of people or see whether or not they have a problem with drugs and alcohol abuse, what they find consistently is about 75%. 75% who those who meet criteria or who we can diagnose to have a problem, a substance use disorder, a substance abuse or substance dependence problem, those who meet that criteria, 75% at least, I think it's actually more in many studies, 75% when they're asked about their drug use or their alcohol use, they say they don't have a problem. There's no issue at all that they have and they, they, they don't consider them to be uh, a substance abuser or substance user. Well, that's huge. In addition to that, we need to uh, be able to identify these individuals and bring to them an understanding that they do meet criteria and that they should be looking at their use of drugs and alcohol, and then getting them to what we know to be effective. I believe that treatment and intervention is extremely effective in substance abuse. I think it's as good or sometimes better in treating many other medical illnesses. So what has come out of this uh, as a federal initiative, I'm looking at NIDA, uh, SAMHSA, and also in the community, uh, I'm trying to support a community initiative where we introduce something called SBIRT. SBIRT is an acronym, S-B-I-R-T. S-B-I-R-T stands for Screening, Brief Intervention, Referral, and Treatment. And what that does is using very, very simple tools. You can even use a CAGE diagnostic criteria. You can use a two-question. You can use a 4P+. plus. Any of the valid validated tools to diagnose problems with alcohol, that you can screen every patient that comes into the medical system, every patient comes into emergency room. I think the state of Oregon is looking at screening everybody who, who uh, supplies for a job, the workforce in Oregon, with these simple tools to help you diagnose and identify and help the addict or the person himself identify if they're having a problem with drugs and alcohol. And for those who meet minimum criteria for potentially having the problem, introducing a very five minute, a short, at the most seven or 10 minute intervention, just educating them about drugs and the impact of drugs and what it looks like to have a drug problem, things like that. And for those who are willing to then refer them into a, a, a treatment system and then navigating them or having case management that gets them into treatment and helps them participate in treatment. What's been found in some preliminary studies uh, done in some healthcare systems and also by the federal government is that the brief intervention alone, just the mere fact that somebody took the time to look at their use of drugs, tobacco and alcohol, to sit down and give them a short educational process that resulted in decreasing drug use in that person or those people by over 50%. And that meant the savings overall to our criminal justice system, our health system, uh, all of our social system is tremendous. So I hope there's some interest in SBIRT. I'm trying to work here in Oregon with uh, some people on implementing in health systems in the state. And if we do so, maybe we can have uh, an impact on this war on drugs. That wraps our pod for today. Thanks for visiting the CNS podcast. Please check back soon for the next in the series and visit our website, www.cnsproductions.com.